just got ready. I'm heading out to the library today, which I'm super excited about. I've actually never been to the Tampa library and we've lived here for two years. It's kind of criminal that we haven't been to the library here and it's literally in downtown. I had no idea it was so close to where we live. From what I saw on Google Maps, it's literally right next to the Riverwalk. So we're gonna go check out the library today, see what their selection of books is. Before we head out, I wanted to share a very cool brand that I am actually working with for today's video. They sent me some items from their makeup line, which I actually used to get ready today. As you guys can see, a little blue moment going on. The name of the brand is Game Beauty. As the name suggests, Game Beauty is actually inspired by video games, which I think is so cool. A fun fact about me and my husband is that we actually love to play video games. We recently finished playing Diablo 3 and we downloaded Diablo 4, which has not been my fave if I'm being honest, but that's a different conversation. So when I heard about Game Beauty, I was so excited to give them a try. The graphics on their packaging, the shade are all inspired by video games. It's also a small company and I love supporting small companies when I can. They sent over two of their eyeshadow palettes, which are both equally stunning, perfect for the fall season, but honestly, perfect for all year round as well. The Harbinger palette, look how stunning the graphics are on this palette. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. Tell me that this palette isn't perfect for fall. Like I love the shades. And then I also picked up the Victory palette. Do you guys see the play on the names? It's so fun. This one is more of a like bright orangey blue. And then I also picked their blush and this is in the shade Heat Wave. And then they also sent me their blue eyeliner, which was the inspiration for today's makeup look. As you guys can see, I wanted a little blue moment. And if you've been watching my videos, then you know that I've been wearing this eyeliner nonstop recently. I love an eyeliner. I'm very rarely without eyeliner, but I'm always wearing a black eyeliner. So I thought a blue eyeliner would spice things up and I was right. I'm loving the blue moment. I also picked up a makeup brush set from them because you can't have too many brushes and I use all of these to do my makeup today. They just apply the eyeshadow so smoothly. You can use the eyeshadow palettes for everyday looks, but you can also use them if you want like a more intense, full glam moment as well. Skin Beauty just wants you to have fun with their makeup and they want you to dive into your creative side with their shades and their colors. And it's just such a fun brand. I'm so excited to be able to work with them. So if you want to check out Game Beauty, I will have links to all the products that I use today in the description box below so you can check them out and trust me you're going to want to check them out we're gonna head over to the library now i'm so excited let's go Library. We actually got poured on on our way there, which was not fun with a four month old, but that's okay. We don't live too far from the library, so we walked. Luckily, we did bring an umbrella that was able to cover us two and our baby stroller, so that wasn't too bad, but just felt chaotic at the time. But we made it to the library, we spent some time there. It was actually really cute. It's a lot smaller than I'm used to because I'm used to like the Boston Public Library, and this one was a lot smaller and they had a lot less books, but it was still a pretty cute little library. I did find some books and I got a library card. I can't remember the last time I got a library card. Wait, when was the last time you had a library card? 10 years ago. Like 10 years ago? Like, 
I haven't had a library card since I was in college, but I actually checked out quite a bit of books. I ended up checking out five books. I'm actually excited about, well, I'm excited about all the books, obviously, that's why I checked them out. But there are two books in this pile that I'm actually really excited because I've had them on my TBR for such a long time, so I'm happy that I get to read them. I'm gonna be in the video. <laughs> you wanna be in the video? I'm in the video. I, you should read James Patterson. This one sounds good, actually. FBI, DEA, in the Miami Police. All of the first book that I picked up was Lost by James Patterson and James O'Born. This one is The City of Miami is Detective Tom Moon's Backyard. He's always kept it local, attending the University of Miami on a football scholarship and as a Miami PD officer. Now, as the new leader of an FBI task force called Operation Garden, he is combating international crime. Moon's investigative team discovers that the opportunistic Blood Brothers, Russian nationals Roman and Emil Rostov, Rostov have evaded authorities while building a vast, powerful, and deadly crime syndicate throughout Europe and Miami. Moon played offense for UM, but he's on the other side of the field this time. And as the Rostovs zero in on a target dear to Tom, they're not playing by anyone's rules. I used to read James Patterson all the time in high school, and then I stopped. I feel like he comes out with books so often throughout the year that it's so hard to keep up. And I know that he co-writes a lot of his books, and I just can't keep up with all his really so I stopped reading his books for a while for a couple years now I haven't read one of his books since I was in like the 12th grade So I'm very excited to get back into his writing my husband loves James Patterson as well So maybe he'll read that book as well before I turn it back in and then I picked up the rom-com agenda by Jane Denker I remember seeing this book I think in Barnes and Noble and I almost picked it up and I didn't I don't know why so when I saw it at the library today I decided to give it a chance and it goes Leah Keegan is used to being alone especially after taking care of her sick foster mother for the past year but now there's nothing keeping her in the sweet town of Willow Cove it's time to move on again Eli Madison thought he and Victoria were meant to be together until she decided to jet off to Rome for a year Eli is determined to win her back but how changing Eli's physical appearance is easy but to turn Eli into the sophisticated ideal man his girl pals force him to watch classic rom-coms and take notes inadvertently drawn into the makeover scheme, Leah ends up being Eli's guy through the royal world of meat cutes and grand gestures, even though she believes Eli doesn't need to change a thing about himself, even though she just might be falling for Eli and Eli for her. So I guess this is like a reverse romantic comedy because normally you have the girl going through like this whole makeover thing where she tries to change who she is for a guy, but in this book the guy is actually trying to change himself to get the girl. I thought this was really cute and different. I'm actually really excited to read this let me know in the comments below if you read this book it's actually a newer release i think i think it came out in 2022 very excited about that one and then i also picked up my first nicholas spark book you guys i have never read a nicholas spark book in my entire life i watched the what is it the vow is that what the book is called and dear john maybe more than 10 years ago and i honestly don't remember anything from those movies and i know they're like classics so many people love them but i don't know i just never got into nicholas sparks writing so i'm very excited to try one of his books and this one is called the return trevor benson never intended to move back to north carolina but when a motor blast outside the hospital where, where he worked sent him home from afghanistan with dad devastating injuries, the cabin he inherited from his grandfather seemed as good a place to regroup as any. Tending to his grandfather's beloved beehives, Trevor isn't prepared to fall in love with a local. Yet, from their very first encounter, Trevor feels a connection with Deputy Sheriff Natalie Matterson that he can't ignore. Further complicating his stay in New Bern is the presence of a teenage girl, Callie, who lives in the trailer park down the road. Trevor hopes Callie can shed light on the mysterious circumstances of his grandfather's death, but she offers few clues until a crisis triggers a race to uncover the true nature of Callie's past. One more intertwined with the elderly man's passing than Trevor could have ever imagined. So is this kind of like a murder mystery on top of a romance? Oh, I was thinking about The Notebook, not The Vow. What movie is The Vow? 
Is that still a Nicholas Spark movie? I'm actually surprised this library had like recent releases. Like all the books that I picked up, or I think most of the books that I picked up today have been published in the last like two to three years. This one was published in 2020, so I guess like three years, but yeah. Very excited to see what this book is giving. Let me know in the comments below if you have read his books and which book is your favorite by Nicholas Spark. Maybe I need to read more of his books. Maybe I need to read The Notebook. I've never read read that book maybe next time and then i picked up when life gives you little lemons by lauren weisberger i actually only picked up this book because the title was funny so i was like you know what what the heck i have nothing to lose so might as well read it and see what it's giving with her signature wit lauren offers an alluring look into a sexy over-the-top world and proves its style and substance together that get the job done i guess that she wrote the devil wears prada i had no idea i mean that makes sense it's literally a devil wears proud novel duh wow i'm excited about that one i love the devil wears prada and then this book was such an exciting find for me because it's literally been sitting in my amazon cart for months and i just haven't bought it one italian summer i know that summer is almost over it's practically over but i have been wanting to read this book all summer long and i just haven't had the chance to it's also been recommended so many times on my channel by you guys so i'm finally gonna read it and i'm so excited when katie mothers dies she she is left reeling. Carol wasn't just Katie's mom, but her best friend and first phone call. Even Katie's husband can't seem to get through to her. She is lost without her anger. Her mother was her true north. To make matters worse, the mother-daughter trip of a lifetime looms. But as soon as she steps foot on the beautiful Amalfi coast, Katie begins to feel her mother's spirit. And then Carol appears for real, in the flesh, healthy and suntan, and 30 years old. Katie doesn't understand what is happening or how, but over the course of her time in Italy, Katie gets to know Carol in this new form, and soon she must reconcile the mother who knew everything with a young woman who does not yet have a clue. One Italian Summer is Rebecca Searle's next great love story, a transcendent novel about how we move on after loss and how the people we love never truly leave us. This book takes place in Italy. I know it's just going to have like the best scenery, the best summer vibes, and I'm really excited for this one. This will probably be the first book that I read because I, like I said, I've been wanting to read it all summer long. I'm very happy with all the books that I picked up at the library today. I feel like I got really lucky with some of the finds. I feel like this library was organized very strangely or maybe that's just me, I don't know. And they gave me a receipt when I checked out, which is this new. Like I said, I haven't been to the library in freaking years, so I don't know how things work anymore. But they gave me a receipt for the five books and that I checked out. On the bottom, it tells me that I saved a hundred and twenty six dollars with 98 cents just by going to the library that's insane so if you have been putting off going to the library go to your local library check out some books because you'll be saving a lot of money in the long run I love buying books don't get me wrong just because I have a library card now doesn't mean that I'm going to stop buying books but I'm definitely going to be going to the library more often now because I feel like this will also be a great opportunity for me to find books that are not necessarily book talk books and find books that no one else is talking about and find some new authors I can try and hopefully loves and i also went with my son and my husband it was such a nice little family morning a well-spent morning that is pretty much it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed coming along to the library with me and don't forget to check out game beauty i will have everything that i use for makeup today linked in the description box below they're an amazing small business brand so definitely check them out and show them some love again really hope you guys enjoyed watching if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i would love to have you a part of my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys